In the previous videos, I used the example of sequences of words to show how transformers use the attention mechanism to process natural language and predict the next word in a sequence of words, for example, a sentence. In this video, I show you how Mamba's AI architecture uses the selective state space model to figure out which parts of the data, for example, which words in a word sequence are connected and how they might affect what happens next, for example, to predict which word comes next. First off, why Mamba? Apparently because there are a lot of S in the base model architecture of it, which is called selective structured state space sequence models, which resounds the language of a snake. <laughs> now the series. State space models are a type of recurrent neural networks. This state space acts as an internal memory to remember what the model has learned so far, but they have limited space in the hidden state, so they cannot remember large chunks of information. As we will see soon, instead of using all the information, the Mamba architecture selectively focuses on some parts of the data. For example, only some words that can help the model more accurately predict the next word. Here is a simple explanation of the Mamba's selective state space structure in two stages. An overall view shows the one dimensional data, for example, a sequence of words represented by X, is mapped onto this n dimensional state and ends again at the one dimensional output represented by Y, which shows a predicted word, or any other next element in a sequence of data, for example, DNA or sound bit. The architecture takes advantage of three selective parameters of B, C, and delta, and one delayed parameter of A, which are all functions of the input, for example, dependent on the words in a sequence. In the first stage, the one-dimensional input as a word sequence enters the discretization unit, where continuous parameters of A and B get converted into discrete parameters. This helps the model to more efficiently handle discrete data, for example, discrete words or tokens in a sequence or sentence. The discretization process also maintains a very important feature, linear time invariance. The time invariant feature means that the input and output properties do not change over time. For example, if the input is shifted in time for an amount, the output also shifted by the same amount in time. This proves to be a good candidate for processing sequences of data, such as word sequences, but also comes with the drawback of not being able to handle dynamic data, or the type of data that varies in time. Mamba, on the other hand, solves this issue for dynamic data by using this selective state space model where a length dimension is added to the B and C parameters, where the lengths of input and output data can vary. The model also projects the input words onto the B and C parameters. The B parameter determines the way the input words should be transformed into the state space or memory bank, and C takes the state's decision and converts it to the output, for example, the predicted next word in a word sequence. In other words, these two filtering parameters control how the sequence of words influences the state space and how the state space influences the predicted word. The selection mechanism also involves projecting the input words onto the delta parameter before sending it off to the A matrix where the hidden state gets updated. The delta parameter controls how much focus to give to each input, for example, each word, or if to ignore that word. This means that delta can reset itself. For example, with a small delta value, it ignores the current word and instead focuses on the hidden state or the context. With a large delta value, it resets or ignores the state and instead focuses on the current input, for example, the current word in the sequence. This is what is meant by selecting the input or selecting that particular word. This selection mechanism applies only to B and C and delta parameters in this current Mambo model. In practice, most of the time, the type of words such as articles, modal and auxiliary verbs, demonstratives and filler words get ignored as they have less impact on the prediction of the next word than adjectives and nouns, as well as neighboring words known as collocations. With the relevant input words selected, the A matrix can now decide how the hidden state gets updated over time, for example, the next predicted word in that word sequence. Remember that the hidden state contains information about the previous input, 
which could potentially be the predicted next word. Each state update is based on the information from the previous hidden state and the new input word. Now it is the time that the C parameter converts the hidden state to the output Y, for example, the final decision on the most relevant word as the next word in the sequence. This unique approach to selective state spaces also comes with a hardware-aware algorithm that is optimized for modern GPUs with high bandwidth memory for faster inference. Mamba's overall architecture combines the traditional state space model units for sequence processing with a more modern multi-layer perception unit, making it ideal for analyzing sequences of data such as natural language and genomics. The model designers claim that it can process long sequences without losing sight of the relevance and the context due to its selective approach. If you have not watched the simplified video on the transformer's language model, it is time to do so, because in the next video I will compare the transformer's and Mambo model architectures and performances.